Are you tired of your laptop just overheating anytime you try to do something intensive like gaming or video editing? In this package here, I have a solution that will permanently fix your laptop from overheating. And no, it is not your regular thermal paste. I've made a video about that you can check out just up there. Instead, we've got the next gen face change thermal pad which melts into thermal paste when your laptop heats up and then goes solid state when it's not heating up as much. I found this from some of the Reddit posts for laptop users and desktop users and also I saw a video recently from Linus Tech Tips. He tested this on desktop computers but I'm gonna be focusing on the laptop side of things so let's get started just to give you a brief overview right now I have a laptop here that is running Noctua's NTH2 thermal compound that I installed about 15 days ago and my temperatures are already climbing back up to 95 degrees when gaming so I'm just gonna do a baseline test with the current setup and then we're gonna unbox this guy and then redo the testing and see how it performs over a period of time so I'm going to do a follow-up video on this once I have results but for now I'm just going to show you how it performs out of the box once applied and the main thing about this thing is you don't have to keep applying it every three or six months or so it lasts forever not forever but as in like the useful cycle of that machine so let's get started I'm gonna fire up overwatch and see how much temperatures we're reaching while we're pushing the CPU and GPU to the max so right off the bat as you can see on the laptop screen I got armory crate running and you can see that it is reaching about 58 to 60 degrees just on the main menu which is not bad but I just wanted you guys to see what happens when we actually get into the game keep watching on this side of the screen this is my main computer monitor which is a view Sonic 240 Hertz and that one's running from the laptop over there, which is the Tough Gaming F15. Link a video for that in the top right corner here. So I'm just going to jump into Skirmish. You can see the temperature jump up, 76. Not so bad so far. I'm getting about 370 FPS average, you can see up there. 400 if I'm just standing around. And the CPU is already reaching 87 degrees which isn't too close for comfort for me. And the graphics is not heating up as bad. Just for the sake of testing, I'm gonna play a full match of Overwatch to recreate real life situation, and then it will tell us what temperatures our laptop is reaching after one full match, and then we'll go from there. Although the game experience is not bad, I see a lot of fluctuation when it comes to FPS because the CPU is just throwing down and up and down to adjust it to temperature. I can see the frequency there, 3.9, 3.8, 3.9 to 3.8. I'm going to measure that as well once. Uh, so now the GPU is running at 75C, I think, which is the temperature target. So we'll see how good it performs after the application. One other thing to note is fan are, fans are running full blast. Alright, so let's unbox. Okay. Honeywell PTM7950. I've got the 40 by 40 by 0.25 millimeter. So this piece cost about $35, including shipping to Canada. So depending on your region, it might be higher or lower. I'm gonna cut it to size with a scissor, so you'll need a scissor and this and some alcohol wipes to clean up your CPU and heat sink to apply this. I'm gonna open up my laptop and see if we can apply this after cleaning the heat sink. Be right back. And the scoop that you see is actually a knock. I'm learning from Linus. And that goop that you see is actually a Noctua NTH2 thermal compound that I applied just 15 days ago, as I said. Use some of these wipes. And you can see the fans are quite a bit dirty, but just for the sake of this test, I'm not going to clean them to remove any variable that might exist. I'm gonna do the same for the heatsink now. Be careful not to wipe any of the thermal pad contacts because we're not replacing that, we're just re replacing the CPU and GPU. So just do a quick wipe here. Okay. 
You can see that they're squeaky clean now. Although there are a few scratches, that is normal. You can see how slim this thing is. It's like a thin layer of pre-applied thermal paste, basically. Super thin, thinner than your average thermal pad. Always remember, measure once, cut twice. Now we need to do a vertical cut. How far? Let's see if my cutting skills are good enough. Yep, I'm gonna use this cut, so now to apply it, just peel both sides. That's what these guys are for. Let's try it. Here we go, it's peeling off. Let's do one for the CPU, that's the main thing that was overheating. As I said guys, measure once, cut twice. We cut it, now it's perfect size. Just gotta figure out the width. If anyone's curious, the die size of the uh, 3060 is 20 millimeters by 24 millimeters. And the Intel CPU that I have here is a 11400H. It is 25 millimeter by 15 millimeter. If you're buying PTM for your laptop, you know the dimensions and you can figure that out how much you need. Approximately 10 hours later. Let's put the heatsink back and see how it performs. So it is day two now and I've noticed a few things. After applying the PTM7950 to the laptop, I saw the temperatures go down massively, but not at first. At first it went to almost the same highs as the Noctua NTH2, which was about 85 to 90 degrees. But the difference after about 10 to 15 minutes of use made is ridiculous. So to give you a numeric example, of what the difference is like. I used the superposition benchmark from Unigen and I ran it before and after and you can see the difference in score right here. Mind you, I was able to get rid of the undervolt completely in and was able to pump stock voltage into the CPU to get the maximum performance. And even then, it wasn't reaching that 90 degree mark. I tested heavier games, such as Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and the results are scary good. With Overwatch, I saw an improvement of over about 10% in FPS, and that is average FPS, and also saw about 15-20% to increase in minimum or 1% low FPS, which is amazing because now you don't notice any micro stutters if you get like lower FPS, which is crazy good. So here's some footage of me trying to play some competitive Overwatch and you can see it for yourself. The amount of FPS we're getting versus the temperature on the CPU and GPU. And the best thing about this particular solution is you don't have to go back and reapply it. So it doesn't cost you $35 again and again. It is pretty much great for the rest of the useful life of your laptop. You still might need to clean the fans though. So if your fans are dirty, open it up, quick brush to clean it clean your heat sinks, but pretty much you will never have to lift that heat sink off the thing again. I'm gonna make a follow up video on this a bit later, say six months in and see what the differences are like. My first impressions are pretty great. And manufacturers like Lenovo have already started using this product on their laptops by default. So you don't even have to worry about it if you've got a Lenovo laptop. But if you have an Acer, Asus or any other brand of laptop and you want to get that best performance without messing around too much with thermal paste, getting the application wrong, stuff like that doesn't happen with the PTM7950. I bought my PTM7950 from moddiy.com, which is a legitimate source of this particular product. But if you find any other links, you can let me know down in the comments below. I'll leave a link to the mod DIY page down below so you can order it for yourself and do it on your laptop. But let me know your pick. Old style thermal paste or PTM7950? Mine is definitely the latter. 
Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you learned something new, smash that like button. If you have a question, concern or suggestion, let me know down in the comments below. There's also a Discord link that you can reach out to me directly. Subscribe and ding the notification bell, all that good stuff. Check out my other videos right up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.